Who's winning in this economy right now? The rich. Guys like me. You know, we have gone from having 93 billion, top 400, in, in, in 1982 to having 2.4 trillion, 25 for one. People who, it becomes a more and more specialized market economy. It was right. an agrarian economy a couple hundred years ago. Very hard, you know, to get 20 times the wealth of the next guy because you were a little bit better farmer. But if you're, if you're better at some skills now, you can become incredibly wealthy at a very young age, not because you earned the money to build one steel mill and then saved it to buy another steel mill. So you get the capitalized value of an idea. Did you know that investing $1,000 in Warren Buffett's company Berkshire Hathaway in 1965 would be worth millions of dollars today? That's not just a jaw-dropping return, it's the power of a legendary investor's wisdom at work. So, what's the secret sauce? How can you transform your investments from mere numbers on a statement into a wealth-building machine? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to After the 925. This channel is all about helping you break free from the 9-5 rat race and live your best life. We are here to empower you to take control of your financial future through smart investments, profitable side hustles, and money management strategies that work. So, if you're ready to say goodbye to the everyday grind and hello to financial freedom, then hit that subscribe button and join our community today. In today's video, we're about to spill the beans on how Buffett's proven method can potentially skyrocket your investment returns to a mind-boggling 40 times their current value. And while it's not about luck nor about guesswork and not about making wild bets in the market, Fund's history has a story to tell, and it's a story of how stocks can transform your capital into a money-making powerhouse over the long run. Buying stocks directly is like becoming a shareholder in some of the world's most promising companies. You get a front row seat to their future success, riding the wave of capital growth and even savoring a slice of their profits through those sweet dividends. It's like owning a piece of the pie, and who wouldn't want that? But hold on. Before you set sail into the stock market, you must understand that investing directly in a company isn't a stroll in the park. It's more like taming a wild beast. Every investment is a complex puzzle, requiring an arsenal of knowledge, relentless research, and round-the-clock monitoring. It's not everyone's cup of tea. That's where our hero, the managed fund, comes into play. It's like having a seasoned guide to navigate this jungle of investments. A fund is like a treasure chest gathering riches from countless individuals. The fund manager, our fearless leader, takes this treasure and works their magic by investing it across a vast array of assets. Think UK shares, overseas shares, bonds, and so much more. As an investor, you get your own piece of the treasure, represented by units. It's like having a ticket to the hottest investment show in town, and you're in the front row. And here is where things get interesting. Funds are like superheroes in disguise, each with their unique superpower. Some, known as active funds, have fund managers who put on their capes and aim to outperform market benchmarks. On the flip side, we've got passive funds, also known as tracker funds. These heroes are like guardians, closely watching and mimicking the performance of a specific index. They're not looking to win gold, but they'll ensure you're on track. And here's where the plot thickens. Interestingly, funds give you the chance of diversification. Funds spread your money across various assets instead of putting all your eggs in one basket. Like a master juggler keeps multiple balls in the air, diversification helps you manage risk and steady your returns. So, you might be wondering, which fund should be my financial sidekick? Index fund. And I pointed out that if you'd put $10,000 in an index fund that reinvested dividends, and I paused for a moment to let the audience try and guess how much it amounted to, and it would come to $51 million now. And the only thing you had to really believe in then is that America would win the war and that America would progress as it has ever since 1776. And that American business, if America moved forward, American business would move forward. You didn't have to worry about what stock to buy. You didn't have to worry what day to get in and out. You didn't, you didn't know the Federal Reserve would exist, <laughs> whatever it might be. And... Uh, uh, America works. This is a secret weapon Warren Buffett himself has long endorsed. This gem could be your golden ticket to wealth. And here's why. Index funds are the superheroes of the investing world, and their popularity has soared in recent years. Even the legendary Warren Buffett is singing their praises. In the past two decades, 
low-cost index funds like the S&P 500 have stolen the spotlight in the investment landscape. Why? Well, they're cost-effective, efficient, and tax-friendly. It's like getting a first-class ticket for the price of a coach. When you invest in an index fund, you're not just buying a single stock, but a diverse basket of securities in one simple, low-cost package. Think of it as your investment buffet, offering exposure to thousands of securities, which, in turn, shields you from excessive risk through broad diversification. Buffett even said, by periodically investing in an index fund, for example, the know-nothing investor can actually outperform most investment professionals. Paradoxically, when dumb money acknowledges its limitations, it ceases to be dumb. Now, here's where the real magic happens. You can mix and match different index funds to create a portfolio that aligns perfectly with your desired asset allocation. For example, you could put 60% of your funds into stock index funds and 40% into bond index funds. It's like crafting your investment symphony, perfectly tuned to your financial goals. But what if you're looking for the crown jewel of index funds, the one that requires minimal effort but could help you become a millionaire? That's where the s and P500 index fund comes in. This investment powerhouse follows the S&P 500, containing the same stocks as this prestigious index, which features some of the largest and most robust organizations in the US. Even Buffett himself swears by this investment, and he once demonstrated his confidence in 2008 by making a $1 million bet. He bet an S&P 500 index fund would outshine five actively managed hedge funds over a decade. And guess what? The S&P 500 Index Fund, specifically the Vanguard 500 Index Fund Admiral Shares, emerged victorious and absolutely trounced the competition. It boasted returns of nearly 126%, while the hedge funds struggled to keep up, averaging just 36%. To top it off, the S&P 500 Index Fund is the epitome of a passive investment. You don't have to agonize over selecting individual stocks, researching companies, or making buying and selling decisions. Just invest what you can afford, then sit back and watch your money grow. It's the ultimate set and forget strategy. Moreover, during market turbulence and volatility periods, the S&P 500 has repeatedly proven that it can weather the storm. Whether it's a recession, a bear market, or any other rough patch, the S&P 500 index fund is almost guaranteed to bounce back. But here's the million dollar question. How can you potentially 40X your investment returns? Long-Term Investing Warren Buffett has a wealth of wisdom to share, and one of his golden nuggets is, if you aren't willing to own a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. It's not just a quote, but a guiding principle that has helped him amass a fortune. You see, Buffett isn't the type to jump into stocks just because he thinks their prices will shoot up this week, this month, or even this year. No, he's playing the long game. Buffett intends to become a long-term partner in those businesses when he buys stocks. Sure, Buffett does sell stocks occasionally for various reasons, but most of his investments are approached with the mindset of owning them forever. But if you can't commit to a forever mentality with your stocks, that's why he advises on a set it and forget it investment, such as the S&P 500 index fund. Now, let's talk about a secret weapon in long-term investing, compounding. This is the magic wand that multiplies your returns over time. It's the interest earned not only on your initial investment, but also on any interest accumulated in the past. But there is a catch, as time is the ultimate ingredient in this magical recipe. The longer your money stays invested, the more influential the impact of compound interest becomes. In fact, financial gurus consider time to be the single most critical factor in maximizing the benefits of compound interest. So. If you aim to 40x your investment returns, don't just think about where your money will be in a few months or a year. Think about where it can be in a decade or more. Buffett's wisdom and the power of compounding go hand in hand. But that's not all. There are some things you should avoid. Avoid greed and fear. In investing, emotions can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Warren Buffett, the maestro of investments, knows this all too well. He emphasizes the importance of steering clear of two powerful emotions, greed and fear, which can lead investors down a treacherous path. When the market is on an upswing, greed makes it easy to get swept away. It's like a siren's call, tempting you to jump in, even if you don't fully grasp the investment. Greed can cloud your judgment, 
making you forget the fundamentals and take undue risks. Conversely, fear can rear its ugly head when the market tumbles. You might be tempted to hit the panic button and sell your investments, often at a loss. Fear can make you abandon the ship right when it's heading for calmer waters. Buffett's sage advice is to be a master of your emotions. Remove them as much as possible from the investment process and stay focused on the fundamentals. He once said, if you cannot control your emotions, you cannot control your money. Emotions are like the fog that obscures your vision. Clear them away, and you'll see the investment landscape more clearly. For Buffett, this means being patient and unwavering. He doesn't let the emotional roller coaster of the market sway his decisions. He's in it for the long haul, and that's where his confidence stems. Patience is a virtue. Talking about patience, Warren Buffett's voice rings clear. Successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. It's a simple yet profound truth that is often forgotten in the pursuit of quick profits. The allure of fast gains can be tempting, causing many investors to dart in and out of the market frequently. But Buffett's golden rule is patience. He once quipped, the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. And well, patience goes beyond simply holding on to your investments. It's also about not being swayed by the daily tides of the market or attempting to time the market's movements. Instead, Buffett advises investors to focus on a company's long-term potential rather than chasing fleeting profits. And finally, thanks for tuning in to After the 925. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on financial freedom, smart investments, and profitable side hustles. And as always, don't forget to let us know what you think. As we wrap up, are you ready to take the first step to investment success, armed with the knowledge and principles that have stood the test of time? And also, what will be your next move? Comment down below. We'd love to know.